good morning. Uh, it's the second day of the year, and uh, I was reading some scriptures this morning, and uh, this one re really got stuck to my mind. I want to talk to you guys about it for a minute. It's found in Philippians 3.13, and it says this, Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things that are uh, which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before. So we reach forth unto those things which are before us. <clears throat> so, uh, you know, we, uh, <clears throat> you know, it's the beginning of the year. It's the second day only, you know, and of course, uh, if you're like most people, uh, you know, you, you make a mental... Uh, list in your mind of things that you want to change for this year and uh, you know make make life better you know because everybody wants to improve in some way one way or another uh, you know they're known as uh, you know people call them new year resolutions you know if you want to put a name to it uh, but as for us Christians you know uh, that list should consist of, of spiritual things not not as much as you know physical stuff <clears throat> but um you know some people uh you know uh the the number one uh resolution every year every single year probably for for many decades i'd say you know 20 30 40 years as long as i can remember people are always trying to number one lose weight uh or exercise, uh, getting their finances in shape, uh, working with family, you know, relationships, maybe working on their marriage, you know, and unfortunately, uh, getting into a strong relationship with Jesus Christ is not in the top three, if you can believe that. <clears throat> but anyway, of course, those are, you know, they're admirable. Uh, resolutions, you know, to lose weight, get healthy and stay in shape and, and get your finances in order or, you know, or, you know, fix your marriage or your relationship with some loved ones. I mean, those are all good, good things. <clears throat> but, you know, however, you know, to reach those goals, any one of those goals, it's going to take a lot of determination, a lot of commitment. You're going to have to go after it hardcore. When you look at things that, that's happened this past year, you made a lot of poor choices, poor decisions, you know, and you feel sorry for some of the things you did. Well, you know, if you repent, um, God forgives you. You move on. You know, leave them behind. You know, don't even talk about them anymore. Just move forward. Because, um, <clears throat> you know... Uh, of course, there is a, you know, God uses your past. I know I, I, I refer to my past a lot when I'm talking to people about how God changed me. But, you know, to hold on to the past uh, can also cause a lot of problems towards the future. You know, especially if you're trying to work out a relationship with a marriage or family member. You just got to drop it. <clears throat> now... It will take a lot of commitment, a lot of determination. You know, if you want to lose 20 pounds, it ain't just going to fall off. You're going to have to walk a lot of miles, jog a lot of miles, watch what you eat, count calories, and all that stuff. You know how that goes. And usually people do pretty good for the first five pounds maybe, and then they give up. Uh, so it de definitely takes a lot of commitment, um, you know, and you got to be very consistent also. You can't just go to the gym and work out, you know, for 10 minutes once a week. You have to be there every single day, you know, or at least five or six days out of the week. <clears throat> so, but you got to be very determined and very committed. And I believe <clears throat> that this scripture here that Paul used <clears throat> in Philippians 3.13, <clears throat> it says that <clears throat> we must persistently be reaching forth reaching forward 
uh, unto those things which are before us. So this statement is is, is packed with uh, with a lot of insight. Uh, so you know, let's take a few minutes and examine um, the words in this verse, uh, so that you know maybe it'll help us achieve our goals uh, in the months to come. Now, you might have all these goals, but my goal is to be more like Christ. That's my goal. I don't care about none of the other stuff. Yeah, it's important, but when it's all said and done, you know, our relationship with Jesus Christ is what's going to matter the most. You know, so um, this, uh, this word here, um, reaching forth to the things before us, you know, Paul's using a Greek word Eptieno, you know, I'm giving it my best shot here. I, I'm, I'm Mexican. I'm, I don't. I can't. I'm not good with Greek. <laughs> but anyway, it's an old word that was used to picture runners in a foot race. And I don't know if you've ever watched um, like a hundred meter dash. Um, you know, when when runners, man, they're going full blast. I mean, their, their faces get disfigured because of all the strength and might that they are using to push themselves forward across that line, that finish line. And <clears throat> that word there gives us a picture where it says reaching forth uh, like a runner that's running this race. And he's literally leaning his head, trying to stretch out his neck as far as possible to cross the finish line before the other guy so this word here reaching forth that's the picture that i want you to keep in mind it's like a, a runner that's going full speed and he stretches out his neck he's making all kinds of faces using every bit of strength that he can to cross that finish line and win that is what that means when you when you really break it down is you are going um, forward in 2022 you know and with that kind of a determination you're tearing it up because why well you want to win you want to accomplish the goal and nobody in the world likes to lose you know, so we're we're here to win. And if you really want to win in 2022, you're going to have to get on the winning side. And that's God's side. <clears throat> you're going to have to come through Christ. You're going to have to repent. You're going to have to ask God to forgive your sins. And then start following the principles of Jesus Christ. That is what will make you have a blessed 2022. Now look just like that we're on day two you know tomorrow will be day three so the time <clears throat> it's gonna fly by look at 2021 man it came and it, it was seemed like there was only eight months in that last year but you know this year will pass the same so <clears throat> you know we we need to uh, stay focused on uh, on the prize and we need to finish the race well. Um, and, and all of that's going to require God's help. We can't do anything on our own. Without Him, we can do nothing. You know, so whether it's to lose weight or, you know, fix your exercise habits or, you know, get your finances in shape, whatever. You know, make getting closer to God your priority. And He will help you with all the others you know god god will help you get everything else in order uh, so i pray that god blesses you today may he help you may he give you strength to accomplish uh, the goals that you have set before uh, before yourself this year but please uh, you know put god first you know put god first if you don't do that then everything else is just in vain. So, 
I'm actually getting ready to catch a flight. I'm here at the FW, about to go uh, um, uh, preach a funeral for my aunt that passed away. Uh, but anyway, you guys, you know, put God first, put Jesus Christ first. I'm telling you, you won't regret it. The only thing you will regret is if you don't put God first. Love y'all, God bless y'all, and have a great day.